Hi folks, it's mid-February and we're out here on the farm. Uh, we'd like to talk to you a little bit today about frost seeding, specifically legumes, and specifically today we'd like to talk to you about red and white clover uh, into pastures and, and meadow fields. So first thing we need to consider is getting a soil test done to make sure our nutrient levels and our pH levels correct. So you can contact your local county extension agent about that and get a soil test done if you're considering doing some frost seeding in your pastures. Um, today, like I said, we're going to talk about frost seeding. Uh, red and white clover in this particular meadow. Uh, what we did here is we left some stockpile in here and grazed it off and then we fed on it to create a little bit of disturbance so we have some bare soil to seed into. Uh, we didn't mess it up too bad but we uh, we got some bare soil and that's one of the keys of this. We're going to broadcast seed over top of this and we're going to use uh, freeze thawing action that we've got going on this time of year. Um, specifically February and March is a great time of year to do this. So we're going to use that freeze thawing action, the ground hooving up as it freezes and then going back down as it thaws out to draw that seed down in the ground. That's how we're going to get good seed to soil contact and get a good establishment of our red or white clover, whatever le particular legume that you decide to use. Um, some advantages of using these legumes, um, obviously if you've looked at nutrient prices this year, uh, fertilizer is way up. So uh, getting a good establishment of Legumes in pastures can fix between 20 and 100 pounds of nitrogen per acre, uh, which this particular year uh, is going to be worth about a dollar per unit, uh, possibly more by the time we get further into spring. So that's something to consider. Also, in increase in forage quality. So we're going to uh, increase our forage quality, whether that be in a meadow, in a meadow like this particular instance or in a pasture field. Seeding rate. Uh, couple things to consider when we're when we're seeding. Uh, if we're going to use red clover, red clover seed is a little bit bigger so it, it will be a, a little bit heavier seeding rate. So that's to get the number of seeds out there that we want. Um, typically we're going to be between four and ten pounds of seed per acre if we're doing a red clover seed. If we're doing white clover seed we might be one to four pounds per acre depending on where you're at and how much legume that you want to establish in there. So uh, if you want to learn more about frost seeding I encourage you to go see your county extension agent. Uh, he can help you with a soil test. They can also help you with um, identifying areas that would be good to do and then the conditions that, uh, that you want to seek out to do that. So we're going to take off and we're going to use this manual seeder today to cover some ground, get some of this seed out on the ground, uh, use that freeze thaw that's going on next month or so to get that seed in and improve this particular piece of ground.